Hey, what's up guys? This is the first onboarding video for Swish Tools. Uh, through this video, I will basically just show you guys the functionalities of Swish Tools. Um, and we won't go too much in details as I will go much more and more in details in the other onboarding videos. Um, and I hope this can help you guys out. All right. So now we are going to take a closer view at the task page, the most important page out of this whole program. Um, just from the just from the view of it, you can see that you already have a few buttons. Uh, so the add button is to create a new task group. St start, stop, edit, delete, and copy all is all used for your task whenever you create your task. And you have your create task button. But first of all, you have to um, add or create a task group. Uh, once you click on add the add button, you're going to have to put your name so we can put random name. And then you want to select your module. We have uh, different types of modules, uh, such as the account warmer, the account filler, the account reset, and the account generator. And then we have misc, as we call it, um, which is which means basically the rest. Account warmers will usually focus on warming your account, on enhancing the quality of your accounts. Um, so you can use the account warmer, such as as example for Google to farm your one clicks you can use it for some of our amazon warming modules such as amazon uh, prime uh, and etc and our nike warmer etc etc account filler will focus on f uh, filling the shipping and the billing information into your accounts um, and why do we do this is to simply save that extra two to three seconds during checkout uh, because your your profiles and your billings on your accounts are already filled um, account resetters will focus on simply resetting the password of your on your account, uh, whether it be a Nike account reset that will reset the password, uh, whether it be targets unlocking, etc., etc. Account generators is uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. It'll it's basically all modules related to generating the accounts themselves. And whenever we look at MISC. Um, we have other modules uh, such as Instagram follower, Instagram liker, and post liker. Uh, same goes for Twitter, Instagram follower, uh, I mean Twitter follower, uh, Twitter post liker, retweeter, Google, we look at Google forwarding modules, etc. Uh, and so basically whenever you select your sites, um, you can select whichever module uh, you want to run for. So say I want to run an account generator and I want to generate Nike accounts. So I would put it as a setup and I would click on create task. Um, now then what you want to do is you want to create the actual task because you only created a, a task group. So to create the actual task, you will click on this create task button right here and you will be met with this new task pop-up. Uh, this one is gonna be a bit more complicated for new users, but I will give you a rough run through uh, and we will go more into details whenever we look at each module specifically, okay? Um, so you're going to have to select modes. Currently we only have one mode, so it's just the account generator mode. You can select your proxy list. You can select whether you want to use a proxy group, uh, which will distribute to all the, from top to bottom to all the tasks, or if you want to use a specific proxy, uh, you can. I usually just use my proxy groups. Um, for uh, SMS providers, we currently have two providers, which is SMS Activate and SMS Man. So you're going to choose your SMS uh, provider. Again, we will go more into details into how to set up those um, requirements later on. And then SMS region, which is the region of the SMS that you want to use. And then account domain, you'll be looking at, uh, it's basically the account domain. It means, um, say I want to generate an account, what is it going to use as a domain extension? So if I put gmail.com, is gonna put a random name, random credentials, and then it's gonna be at gmail.com. If I want to use my, use my catch-all, it'll be catchall.com, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, you can select the amount of accounts that you want to generate. So this is the amount of, of, of tasks that you want to create. So say I want to create 15 tasks, I'm gonna select a random uh, SMS region. Now everything is set up, I would create, create my task by clicking the Create Task button. And all my tasks were created. Now then, I have uh, multiple things I can do with this now. I can uh, either start my task by clicking on this green button here or clicking on the top right here where it says start. I can stop my task, I can edit, I can mass edit my task, I can delete them, and, and, I, cop and I can copy the credentials whenever the accounts are created. I can also uh, edit my task 
uh, one by one if you want to use specific proxies or uh, you want to uh, use a different domain, etc. And finally, if you want to simply delete your task, you can either just click on delete here or you can just delete the whole task group by clicking the trash icon. So that's basically a small overview of the task page. Again, we will go much more in depth into the modules in uh, different separate videos. All right, so next up we have the proxy page. The proxy page is the simplest page of this program. It's simply the page where you're going to store all of your proxies that you're gonna use for your tasks. So all that you wanna do is you wanna click on the add proxies button that is situated right here. You're gonna add your name. So say I wanna add my name as ISPs. Click on add to add my buttons. Uh, and then I can input my proxies into this field. Um, so if I want to add these proxies, I would only paste them in here and just click on save. The current formats that we accept for proxies right now are uh, IP, uh, port, user, and then password. And we also uh, accept only IP and port for the people running ISPs. So exactly just like the proxies, we have the account list uh, tabs. Uh, this is basically where you want to store all of your accounts uh, to add uh, and to be able to run with um, while you're running your task. So what you want to do is you're going to click on add accounts and I will simply give a normal name to my uh, list. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to add my Google accounts. Uh, and then the format that we currently accept for accounts, any account is going to be uh, the email of the account and then with a column in the middle and then we're going to add the password right here and once that's done just click on save and you are good to go next up we are going to be looking at the profiles page for the profiles page seems a very simple at first but it has tons and tons of feature to it so let's get into it uh, first of all the one rookie mistake that a lot of people do is they try to type and they cannot it's simply because you haven't created a profile group yet. Uh, yet. So what you want to do is you want to click on create uh, group, and this is going to create your first your your new uh, profile list uh, group. So let's call it uh, test profiles, and then I'm going to click on create to create my profiles. Now I can type into the inputs um, and fill in my profiles. Um, uh, we can uh, so first of all. Let's go step by step. You have the shipping information, you have the billing, uh, you have the option to use the same billing as shipping. You have the option to use our jig mode, which will be fully explained in another video. And then you have your payment settings where you can add uh, your credit cards. We soon will add uh, the mass v, uh, virtual credit card import feature as well as the virtual credit card generator. And you can export your groups to your favorite bots. Um, I won't go too much into details uh, into the profiles for now. This is simply an overview, but I highly recommend watching the profiles video as I explain how to use the jig settings that we have right here, uh, which is a very powerful tool to uh, create profiles um, with different configurations. So that is going to do it for the overview of switch tools for now. I highly recommend you guys go look um, at our other tutorials uh, for how to use or how to set up switch tools and we will upload uh, videos on how to uh, run each modules and each task specifically um, for uh, anyone that needs help with that. Thank you for watching.